everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be making some garlic pork today I'll be using a piece of pork shoulder and here I have some thyme garlic pimento pepper and these are just flavored pepper so they're not hot and I also have one weary weary pepper that I pickled in some vinegar I also have here some clove and some peppercorn and in here I have some sugar and some salt and here I have some vinegar some white vinegar you will also need a clean jar that is washed and dry make sure there's no water in here or that can spoil your pickle because we'll need to leave this out in this jar here to pickle now the first thing you want to do is make sure you wash and dry your pork thoroughly you don't want any water on here and now I'm just gonna cut my pork into about four pieces and we'll just place them on the side now you can cut these up as small or as big as you like them but I like them to be at this size and just in case you want more than I am making, all you have to do is double the ingredients or triple the ingredients and you can get as much as you like. Now the next step to my motor and pestle, I am going to add in my thyme and I'm just gonna pong it until it's smashed a little bit. And that's it. I'm gonna go in with my garlic here and I'm just gonna crack these a little bit. This is how I'm gonna keep them. Now I'm gonna go in with my weary weary pepper and I'm gonna go in here with my pimento pepper and I'm just gonna crack them as well. Now I'm gonna place this on the side and to my bowl I'm going to add in my pork and I'm going to add in all of my seasoning and I'm just gonna mix this in here now I'm just going to place this a little bit here on the side and to my jar I'm going to push down a few pieces of that thyme stem and we're going to just add in our pork. Now once you add in about two pieces you want to just pick some of the seasoning up from the bottom here. Just add it in there and we'll put in the other pieces. Now you want to grab all the remaining seasoning from the bowl here and place it in the jar. So now that we have our meat in the jar, we're gonna go in with all of the sugar and the salt. We'll pour that just on top of there. And then we'll go in with the clove and the black peppercorn. Now I'm gonna add in my vinegar. So you wanna make sure that the jar is full and all the meat is covered under the vinegar. And I'm just gonna mix this in here a little bit so that the sugar and the salt get to go to the bottom and everything is nicely distributed and i'm going to cover my jar here now this is how it's looking i'm just going to cover my jar here and this is how it's looking from the outside here look at that pretty color and all the garlic and all the thyme mm, this is looking so so good so now that we have everything in the jar we're just going to cover it you want to make sure that you cover it really tight no air should be getting into the jar or no air should be coming out of the jar I am just going to cover this here now and place it on my counter and I'll leave it there to sit on the counter for about three days before I can start using it now if you are scared to leave this out on the counter you can put it in your fridge but you will need to preserve or pickle it for about seven days in the fridge when it's out of the fridge it tends to pickle or cure faster than when it's in the fridge the process will slow down so usually if I keep it in the fridge I will leave it for seven days and if I'm keeping it on my counter I will leave it for about three to four days now it's up to you if you like a garlic pork that is very strong in flavor you can leave it for about seven days even on top of the counter just make sure when you're pickling your pork you dry it thoroughly you don't want any water on the pork any drippings of that sort so right now this is all good here 
and I'm going to see you guys back in three days to finish this recipe. Now, three days after, let's see what we have in our jar. The first thing you want to do is strain the water out. Now, you're going to grab yourself a strainer here and a bowl, and I'm going to pour everything into it. Now, after you drain your pork, just place it on the side and allow it to drip off a little bit. Now, while our pork is dripping off, we'll proceed to the next step, and that is preparing some seasoning, some green seasoning. Now, this step is optional, but I just like to do this because it's very flavorful. It tastes really, really good. I have here some spicy thyme, and this I just picked from my indoor kitchen garden. And you just want to chop this really, really fine. If you want, you can use the regular thyme like these here. But I didn't have enough of this. And I'm saving this for another recipe. So I'm using this um, spicy thyme here. So I really don't know why they call it spicy thyme. It's not really spicy. It's just like the leaves are, are a bit more broad than the other fine thyme. So you're going to just finely chop this. You want everything to be really, really finely chopped. And this is the texture I'm looking for here, or the fineness. Next, I have some celery leaves here, and we're gonna finely chop this as well. And we're gonna place this in the bowl here. I have two pimento pepper guys this is just flavored pepper it's not hot at all and you can use as much as you like now i am going to chop these finely as well by chopping this here you can smell how high the flavor is we give your food a really nice flavor that's one of the reasons i always use pimento pepper you would see me using pimento pepper to my garlic press, I will go in with two large cloves of garlic and I'm just going to mince this here in my bowl. I just want to cut this out here. Try not to take the, um, the, the skin of the garlic out. Just leave that right in there. You can discard of that. We don't need that. Now, we are going to place this to the side. Now you want to grab yourself a piece of bounty paper and bring your pork to the counter. And if you pick your pork up from the <coughs> container or from the strainer and you see any slime, then something went wrong. You, you got to discard of that. It's not good. It rarely happens, but just in case, just in case, I want to make sure that you know if you're seeing any slime there, it's not good. You have to discard of it. I am going to um, dry them and we'll place them on the side here. And you can brush the excess seasoning out here. They already did their job. You don't need that. They're just going to be burning in the oil when you're frying this and make a mess. Don't even think about using that. I like to brush it off, guys. That's one of the reasons I prepare this seasoning here, to fry it up when I'm done. My God, this is smelling so, so good. And I soaked it with some um, pimento pepper as well, guys. So the flavors in here is, oh my God. Now to that, I am gonna cut these in some small pieces here. So guys, now that we have our pork all set here. We'll bring our seasoning here and I'm going to add in just a little bit of um, complete seasoning. And now we will head over to the stove. So guys, to your pan, turn your stove on to medium high heat and you wanna add in about three tablespoons of oil here. So now that my oil come up to a nice hot temperature, I'm going to add in my pork. Now after you add all your pork in, you want to add in quite a cup of water here. And I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook for a few minutes. You want to flip your pork over to the other side when you see the water reduce to half. Now, after a few minutes, I'm gonna flip my pork over to the other side. 
So you want to keep covering this because once the water starts drying out, it's going to start burst and pitch everywhere. So you want to make sure that you cover your pot. Well, number one is you don't want to get burned. And second, you don't want to have a big mess to clean up. So guys, you want to remove the cover and just guard yourself a little bit here when you're turning this because you don't want the water, if there's any left in here, to spill and burn you. Once the water dries out, you will see the pork starting to change color and it's nice and brown. You can flip them to the side that is not brown and allow them to get nice and brown on that side. And you can fry these to your desired color. And after you achieve that nice color, you want to remove them from the pan. So guys, the remaining oil, you can leave it right in there. We'll use this back in a few minutes. Just if you feel like there's too much oil in here, you can dip some of it out, which I am going to dip some of it out here. And I'm going to take my stove off. So the next step is cutting these into nice small pieces, like bite size or however you like to serve it. And we're going to place this on the side. Now we want to just slice them into nice thin pieces here, just so that the flavor from the pepper and the seasoning, you know, if you want every bite to have that burst of flavor. What I know some people do is serve it just as it is here without um, doing the next step. But this is just my way of doing it. So if you wanna skip this step, you can go right ahead and skip it and serve this up with some dipping sauce, any dipping sauce of your choice. Now we'll head back over to the pan here and I'm gonna turn my stove on to medium low heat. Now when your oil come up to a nice hot temperature, you will add in your pork here and you wanna go in here with all your seasoning. Toss this around here and allow all the flavors to infuse together in the oil. As soon as you add in your seasoning, you want to turn your stove off and just let the seasoning fry with the heat from the pan. So guys, you can just allow this to cool down and serve this up with some bread in the morning. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope you give it a try. Let me know if you try it my way and what do you think? Now here is the end result of my garlic pork recipe. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed for more videos. As usual, I want to say thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!